Hey, Chris, what's wrong? Ugh, last night was a disaster. What happened? Well, it started off great. We went out for some drinks, were hanging out, then went back to his place. You know, one thing led to another. It was very hot. So what's wrong with that? Well, he was wearing a condom, which is good, but it must have been old or expired or something because it broke. I see. Well, did you ask him if he's U equals U? I tried to ask about the U equals U thing. I did. But he brushed it off and got really freaked out and frustrated and started talking at me. I had no idea what he was saying. I just shut down. Oh, sweetie. I'm so sorry. I totally get why you're upset. Just remember to breathe. Okay. It's fine. Calm down. It'll be okay. You will be okay. I don't know what to do. I could be positive now. I could have HIV. What do I do? Okay. Okay. There is a possible solution. Do you know about PEP or PEP? No. PEP? What's that? Okay. Let me try to explain this. It's kind of like plan B for emergency birth control. You know, if after sex, a woman thinks she might be at risk of becoming pregnant, she can take a medication uh -huh. within five days to prevent pregnancy. PEP is similar, but it's used more in an emergency like this, when someone thinks they may have been exposed to HIV. You have to start within 72 hours or three days of exposure to HIV. Every hour counts, so you really need to get it soon. Oh, okay. So if I was exposed to HIV and I went on PEP, it would prevent me from becoming positive? Yes, it is used exactly for this reason. Like unprotected sex, or sex where the condom breaks with someone you think may be HIV positive, or you just don't know that person's HIV status. That's when someone would start PEP. Uh-huh. It can also be used for drug users when needles are shared with someone that you think may be HIV positive, or again, if you just don't know their status. Oh, I see. PEP is also used after someone is raped. Uh huh. Or if someone works in healthcare like me and had a needle stick. Anytime you don't know someone's status and you think you were exposed to HIV, you can go on PEP. But that 72 hour window is critical. Those are the basics of PEP. Okay, that's a relief to know. But how do I even find it? Where do I go to get it? Mm, right. Well, you should make an appointment as soon as possible with your primary care provider. Or you can go to the emergency room or urgent care. They can start you on PEP at any of those places immediately. Because you really need to start it ASAP. I get it. But what do I do about interpreters? I use a certified deaf interpreter with my doctor because I don't like working with just a hearing interpreter alone. How should I arrange that? Mm-hmm. Well, when you check in at the hospital or doctor's office, request a deaf interpreter. It is your right to do that. Okay, I can do that. Oh, and do you want me to go with you? Oh, really? You would do that? You'd come with me? Of course. Okay, it's a plan. I'll find the closest urgent care now. I'm so lucky my best friend is a nurse. You have all the answers. You are lucky. Okay, bye, love ya. See you later, love you too.